as she took off her bra and stood exposed in front of a studio audience and TV cameras, Brenda Edwards was terrified but elated. The 52-year-old loose women star revealed her body, mastectomy scars and all, in the hope of helping others going through cancer. She says, I was so nervous it has to have been the fastest strip tease ever, but no matter how scary that experience, it's not as scary as going through cancer and chemotherapy, and maybe not even surviving at the end of it. So for the sake of those five seconds, my fears were irrelevant in the scheme of things. The singer and TV personality bared all for Strictly, the real full Monty, on ITV last night and tonight, alongside stars such as EastEnders actress Layla Moores, Strictly dancers James and Ola Jordan, and singer Duncan James. Everyone taking part has had their lives touched by cancer. Brenda was rocked by a breast cancer diagnosis, although she is five years free this year. The group spent six weeks learning dance routines under the tough tutoring of presenter and choreographer Ashley Banjo, culminating in a strip tease in Blackpool in front of a live audience. The dance extravaganza is all part of raising awareness, and reminding people to check themselves. Brenda says, when you start talking about it with the others and hearing everybody else's story, it came rushing back to the forefront, and caught me unawares a few times. I got a bit emotional. I'm just so grateful to be one of the lucky ones who can tell their story as it's been so different for so many people. Duncan was Brenda's partner for her routine, as the men dropped their trousers to raise awareness for testicular cancer. She laughs, I kept my eyes professionally located upwards. I'm quite a shy, introverted person, which a lot of people don't believe because of what I do, but a few other ladies might have been watching what was going on elsewhere. Brenda got roped into going on the show by loose women pal Colleen Nolan who has taken part each year. She lost 9 pounds through the training, but even until the last minute wasn't sure she would be able to go through with the strip. She says, watching Layla was inspiring. Once we had the outfits on, and we were excited and buzzed up, I just thought, okay, let's do this, but I want it over quickly get all the biggest showbiz news straight to your inbox. Sign up for the free Mara Showbiz Newsletter. So I dropped my bra, then a massive fan that was part of the routine, then I picked them up again, all within about 5 seconds, but it felt like a whole minute that I was stood there exposed. Brought up in a Pentecostal church, Brenda, who also hosts Songs of Praise, adds, Cancer doesn't discriminate, so anything any of us can do to help, can make a difference. Brenda's cancer journey began after she found a lump under her right breast at the end of 2015. She was touring at the time, living out of a suitcase, not eating well, and missing her family. She said, I was one of those people who ignored it, stupidly, and I did that successfully for three or four weeks. I'm not sure what was going on in my mind other than convincing myself it would disappear and sort itself out, which is a worrying thing. Eventually she went for a mammogram and biopsy, and then received the call from the oncologist to tell her she had stage 3 breast cancer. It was time to tell her children, Jamal, 31, and Tanisha, 27, it was one of the scariest moments of my whole life. The color drained from their faces. My daughter cried and screamed, my son just went silent. I said please, I don't want anything to change, don't start feeling sorry for me, you've got to remain positive. 
Brenda was told the cancer was aggressive and began six months of chemotherapy before a mastectomy. It was my right breast that I had the mastectomy for, so my left is still my original breast, and I spent a lot of time wondering if they look the same. A lot of people say they don't realize, but I can see a difference and for a couple of years that really bugged me. Then I started thinking this is me now, so I might as well get used to it. The X Factor singer also suffers with peripheral neuropathy in her fingers and toes due to the chemo, so she has constant pins and needles. Sometimes it is a hindrance. But it's just part of life for me now, and I remind myself it could have been much worse. Strictly, The Full Monty, is on ITV at 9pm tonight. Tune into the mirrors just saying live to see one of this year's hottest Love Island rickets Teddy so are a sleigh bear why he was thrilled to take part. Facebook.com slash daily mirror slash videos do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at trinitamirror. Come or call us direct at 0207 29